So I've been seeing some narrative from people who obviously ate Aroma Sai trying to discredit his prophecy. Well, I did a video on that prophecy, which you might want to check out. But again, we seem to have forgotten when he prophesied of the downfall of some certain cartel at Wafbeck last year. He even gave a timeline of before mid-2023. And as the Lord revealed, in March, which is exactly before mid-year, Ubert Angel was exposed by Al Jazeera. And the building of Jeremiah got burned that same March. Surprisingly, the building of Jeremiah got burned on the 21st of March. And why Al Jazeera released a documentary exposing Ubert Angel on the 23rd of March. All this happened before the mid-year of 2023. But the security of the soothsayer is a cartel. I speak in parables. I speak in parables. <laughs> it's a cartel. The moment that lady was checked, the cartel that backed her up. Was... And a lot of prophets have remained in the cave because of the fear of the cartel. Yes, Satan does not just launch, he provides security insurance policies to guard his manifestations in every generation. So the confidence that the soothsayer had, even though she was a little girl, was that there was a cartel behind her. And the day you try to compromise her, then just, just get ready for prison. Because a long network of, of people will rise up on their account. That's why the life of it, the Lord will help us. That is all I can say about it. <laughs> They are a league of pastors that are into diabolical immorality. Diabolical. It doesn't make sense anymore. This is not somebody falling into sin. I mean a diabolical dimension of immorality. And there is a league, a strong league. And the moment the lady comes out and says, there was something like this. Those men will fight the lady and quell her into silence. There is always a cartel built. When Satan wants to make gains in a generation through falsehood, he does it through the power of a cartel. But you know what? The time the die is already cast. Before we hit mid-year 2023, you will begin to see the downfall of secret cartels that have been built to extend the shelf life of deception. He said, beware of Bela. Before we hit mid-year 2023, you will begin to see the downfall of secret cartels that have been built to extend the shelf life of deception. He said, beware of Bela. But we didn't get to see him coming out to say prophecy fulfilled or his ministry publishing everywhere on the internet saying prophecy fulfilled. Maybe that was why a lot of persons didn't get to notice about this prophecy that was revealed by God and happened exactly and accurately. This actually should have been enough sign for those who are descending to have discovered the cartel he was actually referring to at that Wafbeck. What I found rather appalling is for a lot of people to tag those who are speaking truth against ministers that have been exposed for one atrocity or the other as enemies of church and thereby considering ministers that have been exposed for various atrocity as the members of the body of Christ. Invariably, those who are speaking up against atrocity are considered enemies of the body of Christ. Why those who are caught and exposed for various degrees of atrocity are the ones majority of people are now considering members of the body of Christ that is being attacked. What a bewitched generation. Speaking about T.B. Joshua, recently an old flyer of him resurfaced, which obviously shows his acceptance of the practice of Islam, as you can see displaying on the screen. And the question I want to ask us, do you actually consider this person a Christian?